Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Reviva Labs uh, webinar training. My name is Nancy, Nancy Reamer. I'm the Director of Education Training for Reviva Labs, and I'm glad you joined me this morning. can't believe we've been doing this for over a year now. It's been my pleasure and really a great fun to uh, meet some of you, as well as to research some of these topics and really dig into uh, skincare with y'all. So anyway, we'll begin in just a few minutes, uh, just a minute or so. <laughs> I just wanna make sure everybody has time to log on. And then we will discuss our topic for today, which is uh, spring and summer skincare. And really it's about the problems <laughs> that we all have during the hot summer months. So it certainly has been hot. It's not even summer yet. So, um, so hang tight, we'll just begin in a few. Thanks. Oh, also this is a good time to remind everybody that if you have any questions, I'm happy to uh, address them at the end of the presentation. So um, just leave them in the chat and we can uh, talk about them after the program, which shouldn't be long at all. Okay, so why, why don't we begin? I'm gonna start uh, sharing my, my screen <clears throat> so you all can see <clears throat> the presentation. And again, just, just go ahead and chat if you, uh, if, if you have a question as I go through the presentation. So, okay, um, so let's begin. I always like to begin with a, just a little bit of, a little bit about us. <laughs> Reviva was launched in 1973 with the goal to create safe, effective uh, skincare treatments that produce visible results at a reasonable price. And I'm very proud to say that after nearly half a century, we are still uh, sticking to that one goal and are committed to uh, using the highest quality ingredients that are both safe and effective as we continue to formulate and even reformulate um, some of our, our standard products uh, for you and uh, make sure that they are suitable for all skin types. So let's talk about what happens to skin as uh, each season, um, you know, as the seasons change. Um, but your skin does change with the season. And the reason is that, um, well, I should say the reason you have problems <laughs> when your skin changes with the season is because your skin thrives in conditions that are consistent. So when the weather changes quickly or you um, take a trip and you, you know, start out in the desert and you land in the snowy mountains, it's gonna take a toll on the skin as it tries to adjust to that new environment. And during warmer weather, your skin's complexion can change from normal to oilier or oily to even massive oilier. And um, high temperatures um, um, prompt this, this change in your skin because um, we tend to secrete more oil, which makes the skin look and feel more greasy and more prone to developing breakouts. So it's not, uh, a surprise that our first warm weather problem number one is increased acne and breakouts. And as I mentioned, of course, during the summer or even this late spring where half the country today in June is uh, under a heat advisory, um, heat and humidity cause the body to sweat, right? So the sweat on your skin, on your face, face is like a magnet for dust and grime and pollution particles. And because we're, we're spending more time outdoors too, uh, typically in the summertime. So you, you get um, not only uh, is the sweat increase, but you're, you're exposing yourself to it more. So that combination of heat and dirt creates a perfect environment for acne and pimples to thrive. And oil, oh yeah, let's not forget that, oil gets trapped under the surface of the skin and mixes with the bacteria or dead skin cells and voila, <clears throat> a pimple. Anywhere from full allen breakout to just these slight bumps under the skin can be exacerbated with heat. So the solution for acne and breakout during the summer is deep cleansing. Deep cleaning and exfoliation. That's what you really, really need to concentrate on. And you wanna look for a product, a cleanser in particular, or a toner that uses salicylic acid and glycolic acid 
um, because they are natural exfoliants, chemical exfoliants that will offer the deep cleaning that you really need and the exfoliation. Um, um, chemical exfoliants basically loosen the dead skin cells and encourage cell turnover. So your skin looks clearer, cleaner, less congested or less likely to be congested with that summer heat. So our glycolic acid facial cleanser contains about 3% of glycolic acid. And then you can follow with the facial toner, which contains 4.2% 4, 4 of glycolic acid. Um, so you'll, you'll make sure that you're constantly sweeping away any of that, that grime, the sweat, the oil, and not allowing it to infiltrate, if you will, the pores and cause a breakout. The other thing you want to step up is exfoliation. And again, um, that can be a physical exfoliator or a mask like we have at um, Reviva. We have the fruit enzyme mask that is, uses fruits, specifically pumpkin, pineapple, and papaya, um, and allows the enzymes to do that deep cleansing and this uh, sweeping away of the um, dead skin cells. Um, or you can use the light skin peel, the mild exfoliant. Um, that can any of either of these can be used or alternatively um, at least once a week to really make sure that you're you're keeping your skin uh, as prepared as it can uh, um, during the hot summer months, particularly if you're prone to, um, to more oil in your skin to begin with. Okay, another warm weather problem, which could also be number one, is um, sunburn. Some summer means that. Um, increased sun exposure, more intense rays, and we just generally stay outside longer during sun, summertime. Oh dear. Shoot. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and the sunburn uh, leads to uh, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and eventually uneven skin tone. So why does this happen? Um, it's, it all starts with the melanocytes. And, and melanin is basically very useful and a good um, and interesting ingredient, or not ingredient, but a cell in our skin. Um, it is, melanin is responsible for our hair color, eye, our eye color, the tone or the depth of our skin. And it's generally there to protect our skin cells. So what happens is, Okay, let me just give you a little explanation here. This is the basal cell layer where all the keratinocytes, the largest skin cell um, live, as do the melanos um, melanocytes, which are the cells that produce the melanin. So every 28, 30 days or so, the uh, keratinocytes re receive a signal to divide and they divide and they make their way to the top of the surface of the skin to replace the dead skin cells. Now, when we go into the sun, it triggers the melanocytes and they say, hokey smokes, we can't let that little keratinocyte go up to the surface of skin unprotected. We will protect it and darken it. Um, and that's what it does. It sends up packets of melanin into the little keratinocytes. And the result, as we see it, is a nice tan. Uh, which is generally this this uh, over here sort of explains how yes the melanin is in, uh, little packets are carried up in the larger skin cell and eventually sloughed away or your skin uh, sunburn peels away and your skin looks fine you know if you're young <laughs> under forty it usually bounces back but over the years of exposure these melanocytes um, accumulate and the melanin just stays after a while. It doesn't exfoliate away. <clears throat> so you'll see dark spots happening, dark tan or brown or even black spots tend to uh, speckle all the areas that have been exposed to the sun. That includes the face, your hands, your back, your feet, your, soul, your shoulders. Um, and aging can also intensify the appearance of hyperpigmentation for two reasons. First, the melanocytes, these little guys down here, decrease in number, but they increase in their size. 
and and in pigment production. So they get uh, a little bit more unwieldy in our skin. And second, your skin, as you age, tends to get thinner, a little bit more pale. If, if your light's tint skinned um, and more translucent, so the appearance of these darker areas um, looks more apparent. Oy, so what do we do? A couple things we can do. Sunscreen, yeah, sunscreen every day, every single day. Even if it's not hot out or you're going to be inside, I'm sorry, you can pick up damage running from your car to the store or your car to the office if you're going back to an office. I mean, it, 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 summertime is more intense. The, damage, the, the rays are more intense. So you need to apply sunscreen every day, at least 15, if not higher. 30 would be best. And don't forget your hands, the top of your feet, your ears, all really delicate places. Okay, warm weather problem number three is heat rash. Um, what exactly is heat rash, right? Heat, heat rash causes your sweat ducts to become closed off. So they trap moisture under the skin, leading to, um, uh, uh, what looks like it is a rash that's made up of tiny blisters or bumps. So in this, um, sorry, it's a little blurry, but but in this diagram, this is a hair follicle and attached to the hair follicle, it's not shown here, this is a simplified version, but are your oil glands as well as sweat glands. So they're coming out of the same little area where your hair follicle is. It's very efficient for the skin to distribute the oil and the sweat at this, through the same little opening. But what happens, as I mentioned, is the sweat gets trapped beneath the skin and you get these, these little bubbles of, of um, irritation right under the skin. You probably know heat rash by a more common name, which is prickly heat. I remember getting that as a child all the time. So what can you do? A couple things. First of all, if the heat rash has already occurred, the best thing to do for your skin is to wash it with a gentle cleanser and just apply a soothing cream on top of it. Um, don't, don't try to do anything fancy on the skin. Just let it um, um, let the inflammation diminish and heal a little bit. Now, to guard against heat rash, you can exfoliate the skin on your body and your face daily. And it, terrific daily exfoliating mask is our bamboo charcoal mask. Why I love it is that it already has the charcoal, the bamboo charcoal, which is perfect for the deep cleansing and the clays that are in it are great for deep cleansing as well. Um, and lava powder. So you have all the, all the action ingredients working to clear out the pores, but Within that, within this product, you have so many great natural oils like flaxseed oil and lavender oil and eucalyptus and sunflower that are all soothing and hydrating for the skin. So it truly makes this product um, um, usable, if you will, or you can use it every, every day and still get the exfoliation and the hydration that you need to prevent the heat rash. More problems with hyperpigmentation. I found this fascinating. Hyperpigmentation caused by heat, not just the sun. So a couple of theories, you know, because it's science. It's not hard and fast yet. The theory is that heat causes blood vessels to dilate, which is, of course, increases inflammation. And the inflammation triggers those melanocytes again to produce more pigment. So it's not just the sun that produces pigment. It's the inflammation uh, from, the, um, from the heat that, it, you're, that um, triggers the melanocytes. The second theory is um, that the heat also inhibits the body's ability or the skin's ability to protect and repair itself. So, and what they think happens is that the antioxidant levels are lowered um, and it raises the proteins that break down your collagen supply. I found this fascinating. 
So basically, you're compromising the barrier function of your skin. It's not able to protect you in the way it needs to. So chronic skin um, irritations uh, flare up, like melasma or rosacea. And ultimately, you're causing the acceleration of fine lines and wrinkles. And mind you, this kind of hyperpigmentation from heat is from heat again. So it can be inside all sorts of heat sources beyond the sun, LED lights, hair dryers. If you use a, a power, your hair dryer on high every single day, you might be risking um, hyperpigmentation along your hairline or saunas, hot yoga. Think about it. I'm, I'm definitely thinking differently now that I've done this presentation about what I can do about uh, to eliminate hyperpigmentation caused by heat. So a couple of solutions, thankfully. Quick solution, of course, is to take a cool shower and just spritz yourself with uh, cool water or hydrating mist, right? Um, that allows your skin to recover more quickly. It'll go back to its regulating itself, but you can do it. Um, you can help it along by using something like this, this really wonderful um, hydrating mist and keep it in the refrigerator during the summer. Oh, it feels so terrific. Um, but more long-term solutions, uh, um, helping your skin build up that and maintain that barrier function. You wanna look for products that contain lipids, serenamides, essential fatty acids. This will minimize the heat's ability to disrupt um, and cause that inflammation that I uh, talked about that leads to the hyperpigmentation and fine lines and chronic irritation. So Reviva has two new-ish, you know, they relaunched this spring uh, products. Um, um, whoopsie, oh, I'm so sorry. Got ahead of myself here. We'll get to those in a sec. <laughs> um, calming Renewal Serum and the Calming Rejuvenation Cream. Now, the serum is really, just what you need. It got if you're if you're troubled by um, irritation to your skin, or you're prone to um, rosacea or something like that, because it has argan oil, hemp oil, jojoba oil, all to calm the skin's irritation. And it also it's very it has a, a ton of antioxidants like ashwagandha extract, shiitake, china berry extract, turmeric, all really wonderful antioxidants that have been used quite frankly for centuries. The common uh, re rejuvenation cream has very similar oils to the serum, but it adds in Manuka honey, which is a natural um, antibacterial um, and hydrator. And it also has um, sea buckthorn oil, which is an essential fatty acid to help really seal and, and, re, and retain that moisture barrier. Oh, and, you know, sometimes the damage is already done. So if you are currently seeing hyperpigmentation, dark spots, please check out our brightening collection. Kojic acid brightening cream, hydroquinone brightening cream will help the existing hyperpigmentation. Um, and dark uh, under eye circle, we tend to get, um, uh, under uh, more exaggerated under eye circles in the summer because of dehydration, really. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit more about the dark spot brightening serum in a minute um, as it relates to another problem that happens, but the dark uh, spot brightening serum. I, I started using this every day. I'm like, okay, I'm not letting anything happen during this sunny time here in Southern California. Oops. Okay, here we go. Um, so another long-term solution you can add um, against heat hyperpigmentation is to add those topical antioxidants. Yes, it's in the calming renewing, pro renewing products, but it's also in our brightening collection, particularly the dual source C serum, antioxidant cream, and the uh, peptide facial skin prep. Now, let's just take a minute and review what an antioxidant is. They are molecules that prevent damage that's caused by sun. So, and remember, they diminish with heat. So we need an extra supply because what they do is they fight against free radicals, which are stimulated and triggered by sun pollution, yada, yada, yada. Um, and they damage, the free radicals damage healthy cells. So the antioxidants helps to stabilize those free radicals. 
and help repair the damage that's already done and protect against whatever you're uh, up against, uh, you know, in terms of environmentally free radical damage. So just so you know, the dual source C, we've recently updated this, new and improved. It is now called high potency vitamin C serum because we've added another vitamin C source. So it actually has three different sources of vitamin C going to work to brightening and protecting your skin. I've also started using this antioxidant day cream right after I did this presentation. I was like, ooh, I better add more antioxidants into my uh, regimen. So I use my antioxidant day cream and then followed by an SPF. And uh, this peptide facial skin prep is just wonderful. It stimulates the skin into receiving these wonderful products that you're going to put on top of it because it contains um, Hawaiian seaweed extract, which helps with, um, um, has, it has a, a huge amount of trace minerals. Um, so that helps to stimulate your skin. Okay, warm weather problem number four, broken capillaries. What are they? Um, in large vessels, the capillaries are large vessels that, that are right beneath the surface of your cheek. And the chance of developing them, unfortunately, is greater if your parents or grandparents already have them. And sun exposure and changes in temperature tend to aggravate the broken capillaries or stimulate them into being broken. So the solution here is to use an anti-inflammatory ingredient daily um, to help reduce the redness and discoloration. I would highly recommend using the dark spot brightening serum because it contains niacinamide, 5% of niacinamide, which is going to help to strengthen the skin's barrier, reduce inflammation, redness, helps actually regulate oil as well. Uh, look for an ingredient called azelaic acid uh, we are coming out with a new product that does have a zilliac in it. I'm um, very excited about that, but um, there's other products out there too. Um, but this will calm inflammation. Um, natural ingredient called boswellia, licorice root, allantoin, or panthenol. Look for those combination of ingredients to help bring down that irritation to the skin. And, by, and please do not scrub the skin or use chemical exfoliants if you're prone to. Um, broken blood vessels, um, because it can just, again, aggravate the skin and lead to more damage. Warm weather problem number five, dehydration. Yep, during the summer, it is common to feel fatigued and tired as a result of dehydration. Um, your body is expelling and using more water than ever when it's super hot out. So you need to make sure you maintain an adequate hydration level. Um, it's going to affect your, by not paying attention, it's going to affect your internal health and also wrecks havoc on your skin, causing it to be dry, more wrinkle and premature aging. And the only solution for that is to drink more water and enough water to keep your skin soft and subtle and hydrated. Okay, and our last warm weather problem number six is air conditioning. Doesn't sound like much of a problem, but it can be for your skin. As we know, air conditioning pumps dry, cool air into a room, right? To reduce the temperature and make it, you know, more comfortable for us. But it also reduces the humidity levels in the same process. So you want to keep a good level of uh, humidity at about 30 to 50 percent, if you can, to keep your sinuses feeling healthy, your skin more plump hydrated and happy, low humidity is horrible for the skin. It's dull, it loses its radiance. Um, and another thing to think about, if you sit as I often do with a fan or an airflow directly on your skin, it might feel great, but it causes the moisture to evaporate from the top of your skin. Darn it. So what can we do? Air conditioning solution is to keep your skin well moisturized because you're just not going to be able to, you know, not move between hot and cold temperatures during the summer. So just keep your skin well moisturized. It seems antithetical in a way because I talked about all that sweat and oil that happens, but you do need hydration. And you can do it with something as simple as the hyaluronic acid serum. 
um, which will help to infuse your skin with moisture and help you retain the moisture in your skin. And maybe for the most oily of skins amongst us, uh, that would be enough for you for the, for the day or night. But we also have the Intracell Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream and Night Cream that you can put right on top of this to really lock in the moisture for your skin. And don't forget the delicate skin around your eyes using the eye firming complex, eye complex firming um, cream. Again, helps with just retaining that moisture in that delicate skin area. Or um, don't forget about your lips. Our vitamin E stick, I swear by this. My lips get so chapped in the summer. Um, also great for maybe sealing in moisture around your eye. You just keep it on the bone. Don't put it any further than the bone. And you can also use it on uh, cuticles or any dry spots really that you have. So hopefully that will help uh, seal the deal if you will. Okay, so we, you know, I've tried to bring to bear all these different uh, challenges that uh, that the sun and he give to our skin, but I think we have many many um, products at Reviva that help you combat those those very typical challenges. So with that, I'll say enjoy your summer, protect your skin, and. Uh, Check out our website for more information on products, our blog, and events that are coming up.